The Launch Control Center (LCC) is a four-story building located at NASA's Kennedy Space Center on Merritt Island, Florida, used for the supervision of launches from Launch Complex 39. In practice, this means that the LCC handles all American manned space flights. Attached to the southeast corner of the Vehicle Assembly Building, the LCC contains offices, telemetry, tracking and instrumentation equipment, the automated launch processing system, and four firing rooms. Launches have been conducted from the LCC since the unmanned Apollo 4 Apollo Saturn 501 launch on November 9, 1967. Its first manned launch was Apollo 8 on December 21, 1968. Topic: <laughs> Firing Room. Launch operations are supervised and controlled from the firing room. Responsibility for the booster and spacecraft remains with the LCC until the booster has cleared the launch tower, when responsibility is handed over to the Mission Control Center at Johnson Space Center. Extensive renovation of Firing Room 4 was finished in 2006. <laughs> Key personnel <laughs> <laughs> Launch Director LD. The launch director is the head of the launch team, and is responsible for making the final go or no go decision for launch after pulling the relevant team members. <laughs> Flow director FD. The flow director is responsible for the preparation of the spacecraft for launch, and remains in the LCC in an advisory capacity. NASA Test Director NTD. The NASA Test Director is responsible for all pre-launch testing, whether involving the flight crew, the orbiter, the external tank, solid rocket booster, or ground support equipment. The NTD is also responsible for the safety of all personnel on the pad after fueling has occurred. Reports to the Launch Director Orbiter Test Conductor OTC. The Orbiter Test Conductor is in charge of all pre-flight checkout and testing of the orbiter, and manages the engineers in the firing room who monitor the orbiter's systems. OTC is an employee of a contractor rather than of NASA. Tank, Booster Test Conductor TBC. Payload Test Conductor PTC. The Payload Test Conductor is responsible for the pre-flight test and checkout of payloads carried by the orbiter and manages the engineering and test teams responsible for monitoring and controlling payload ground operations. PTC is a contractor member of the Space Shuttle team. <laughs> Launch Processing System Coordinator LPS. The LPS coordinator monitors and oversees the LPS system, specifically, the desired launch rate, space shuttle stacking assembly, and all safety requirements. This is made possible by the Launch Processing System, or LPS—a highly automated, computer-controlled system that oversees the entire checkout and launch process. <laughs> Support Test Manager STM. Topic. Safety Console Coordinator Safety. Topic. Shuttle Project Engineer SPE. Topic. Landing and Recovery Director LRD. Topic. No Landing and Recovery Director NLRD. Topic. Superintendent of Range Operations SRO The Superintendent of Range Operations ensures that all tracking and communications systems are ready to support the launch operation as well as ensuring that downrange airspace and splashdown areas remain clear for launch and monitors weather near the launch site. Topic: <laughs> Ground Launch Sequencer Engineer CGLS 
The ground launch sequencer engineer is responsible for monitoring the operation of the automated ground launch sequencer system, which controls the countdown from T9 minutes until launch. After this point through to T31 seconds, they are in charge of implementing a manual hold if necessary. After T31 seconds only an automatic cutoff is available. The automatic cutoff recycles the countdown clock to T20 minutes. Usually this will extend the launch time beyond the launch window causing a scrub and a 24-hour turnaround. See also Ground station Launch status check Mission control center References Sources Launch Control Center Launch Control Center main page Launch Team External links New Launch Control Room Ready for STS-121 Liftoff KSC Launch Processing System